it's really expensive. So I ended up not buying anything from this brand. <laughs> video day guys so today I have a fun video because we're gonna be doing a follow-up video basically we're gonna be going over all the brands that I said I wanted to try in 2019 and I'm gonna tell you guys whether I did a good job in trying them or if I kind of skipped over them and some of them have reasons I'm not gonna say like it was horrible but I don't think I did a great job but either way I'm gonna share all that information with you guys in this video. And yeah, this was a tag last year by Samantha March. It was called Nine Brands to Try in 2019. And I went over nine different brands that I wanted to try and I really, really wanted to try a lot of these brands. So we're gonna get into everything and yeah, let's get into it right now. <laughs> so just so you guys know, while I'm filming this video right now, I'm actually waiting for my in-laws to get here because we're going to do like an early birthday for me. I guess they're cooking me dinner and stuff. So I am crossing my fingers that I could film this entire video before they get here because yeah, that's my plan. I want to film this video. I'm dying to get this one out because I was like, oh my God, I need to go through this. And as I started making the list and seeing all the brands that I didn't try, I was like, Hi, Christina. And I'm gonna do another one of these for 2020. I'll tell you guys the brands I wanna try in 2020, but that'll be a separate video, cause you know, sometimes I talk a lot in these type of videos and I don't want it to get like extremely long and too boring. So, all right, let's start off with the first one. All right, so I did this in order. So I wrote these down basically in order that I said them, I think. But the first brand that I said I wanted to try in 2019 was Beauty Bakery. So yes, I already failed, even with the first one. So I really wanted to try Beauty Bakery and I was actually re-watching the video and I said that one of the things they had came out with were these like cake pop type of um, lipsticks, I think they were, or eyeliners, I don't remember. That's how good I watch my own videos. But um, I was saying that I really wanted to try because they had come out with some cool products. And honestly guys, I don't know what happened but throughout the year, I guess there wasn't really too many new products that they came out with that caught my attention because I literally, Beauty Bakery fell off like my radar completely and I forgot, like I totally forgot to try this brand because nothing really called my attention. So that's actually kind of strange because usually when I say I want to try a brand, usually they come out with things that I'm like, oh wow, yes, 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 you know, but this one was not one, I don't know what happened. And honestly, all I could remember from Beauty Bakery is like Twitter wars and things that were happening on Twitter. Like that's literally all I remember, but I can't tell you that they, re that they released something that I was like, yes, I need to try it. I guess that could be the reason. But either way, I already failed on the first one because I didn't try Beauty Bakery this year. <laughs> so the second one was Kylie Cosmetics. And yeah, I kind of failed on that one too, guys, because Kylie, what is that? Oh, Santa's up. Oh. I just looked out my window and I saw this big red hat and I'm like, oh gosh, who is coming to my front door with that funny hat? And it's actually my blow up Santa blew up. <laughs> Hey, Christina. So yes, Kylie Cosmetics. No, I didn't try Kylie Cosmetics. Well, Okay, so I'm gonna take that back. Last year I told you guys that I had already tried their lip kit and I wanted to try something else because I didn't wanna like say, oh, Kylie Cosmetics is amazing because I really like their lip kits because I have heard like back and forth information about like their eyeshadows and some other products. So I wanted to try more from the brand and it was kind of like a goal, like, hey, you gotta try something from this brand, they're gonna be at Ulta. And I will tell you guys, there's been multiple times that I have literally seen something at Ulta from Kylie Cosmetics and I'm like, I'm gonna buy this. Then I look at the price tag and I'm like, eh, it's a little expensive. I'll wait until it's on sale. And I ended up just never buying anything. And I will tell you too, lately that I've been seeing some of the collections that they're coming out with, their eyeshadow palettes just don't call my attention. Their color stories are not like super intriguing to me. And I feel like when they first launched, there was stuff that I was more interested in. And like lately I've been losing a lot of interest in the brand. So I don't know, let's see what happens now because Kylie actually sold her brand. So let's see if they continue the same direction or if they get a little bit more creative, I don't know. But yeah, so I, yeah, didn't, two down. Two failures. <laughs> I'm not starting off really good at all. But I'm happy to announce that number three, I actually 
did try and I think I went in hard with this brand. So I'm happy about number three. So number three was Charlotte Tilbury. And I am so excited to say that I did try a bunch of stuff from her brand. Now I said last year that I had never tried like a real eyeshadow palette from the brand. And there had been multiple ones that I really wanted to try. And I really never had gone out and said, I'm buying this. And I did finally, I bought the Icon palette and the Holiday Hypnotize, Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette. Love them both insanely good. I also bought some more lipsticks from the brand and I love Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick formula. It's like one of my favorites right now. I also tried, what else did I try? Oh, the foundation. Foundation, I tried it, liked it, wore it again, was like, yeah about the color, then I had to get rid of it because of the color, so then I went to go color match myself, couldn't find hardly a color that matched me, and it wasn't like one of those foundations that I was like, I'm gonna buy two different colors and just mix them. It wasn't worth it to me, so that kind of like made me realize, yeah, I guess I don't love this foundation. So Char Charlotte Tilbury definitely has been a pretty consistent brand, and some of, a lot of the stuff I've tried so far I have liked, so I'm excited to try more from that brand, so I'm excited. Three. I did good. I did good on Charlotte Tilbury. I did. And number four is a brand I tried too. So that's Bare Minerals. I had said like Bare Minerals was like one of those brands that everybody talks about and I couldn't remember trying anything like specific from this brand. And I ended up buying their Complexion Rescue Hydration Stick and I love it. It's so good. Now I have told people this in the past and I still think this, like if you have oily skin, you're gonna hate this foundation stick. If you have dry skin, you're probably gonna really like it. If you have normal skin that goes more oily, you're probably not gonna like it but it's a very like natural looking foundation stick. It feels like water when you put it on, it's hydrating. I guess if you have more mature skin, you'll probably enjoy it a lot more because it doesn't go into any lines and anything. And I love it. I thought it was such a good product. I was happy to try it. And another thing that was interesting about that foundation stick is it actually feels a little bit like greasy when you put it on. Like, I don't know if that's the right word, but it feels like hydrating. And as you're putting it on, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if this is gonna clog pores, but I have to say, I wore it so much and I didn't get any breakouts. So I really liked that product. I also tried some of their blushes and their blushes were pretty good too. So, so I did try things from the Bare Minerals brand, but I don't think I tried enough. I wanna still try more, especially some of their like, go to like people love products because I think that's really what I wanted to do and I ended up going for like the newer stuff. But yeah, so Bare Minerals is still one on my radio, radar, <laughs> on my radar because I wanted to try some other stuff from them. Now, I didn't try anything from Tom Ford. I had been tempted multiple times this year to buy something from Tom Ford and Gosh, I couldn't get over the price tag, guys. I think that is why I ended up never buying anything this year. And I did remember that I wanted to try Tom Ford because there was so many times that I, so many times, there was so many times that I saw the brand and they released something and I'm like, ah. And I ended up every single time not picking it up. And it's basically because the price tag is so high that I kind of chickened out every single time. I was like, no, a quad is like, 50 something dollars, I don't know, something like that or even more. And I just couldn't do it, guys. I couldn't do it. Are they 80? I don't know. It's really expensive. So I ended up not buying anything from this brand. I still wanna try something from Tom Ford. I still do. I'm just, I just think the price is like a little too high. So number six is Zueva. And yeah, this is another brand that I kind of forgot to try. <laughs> yeah, so um, I really think in 2019, I didn't see anything from Zueva that really like knocked me off my socks. Like, oh my God, is it knocked me off my socks or like knocked me off my feet? I don't know, or knocked off my socks. You know what I mean? Like nothing like really made me like, oh, I really want you. And I feel like 2018, they released like a few like collections that I was like, oh, that's so pretty. And it got me so excited for them in 2019. And I don't think in 2019, I got very excited to be honest. So yeah, I mean, I still, I don't even know. I don't even know if Zueva would be on my list again. Based off of what I saw this year, I don't think that that's a brand that I'm like excited for right now, to be honest, so yeah. Okay, so number seven was Lawless Beauty. Now, <laughs> this brand I did try something else from and I told you guys I love their loose powder. It was so good and I actually had bought it in 2018 and I told you guys like, hey, I wanna try more from this brand. They're coming out with eyeshadow palettes and 
concealers. <laughs> and um, yeah, the first product I decided to try from them was the concealer and, well, the second product. I already had tried the loose powder, but I wanted something else from the brand to like kind of have like a few things that I had tried. And I decided to go for the concealer and you guys, if you guys have seen my subculture award for the year, it almost, it was up for a subculture award from me, which basically is the worst makeup launch. And that's because um, the concealer ended up just not being good. It's literally disappeared off the market. So I mean, obviously it wasn't that great. So yeah, I did try something else from the brand and I didn't like it at all. But I will say I'm still gonna wanna try more from Lawless. Um, there is still interest in that brand from me. I, I think like they're, they're, I really do think that their palettes look really pretty and there's other stuff that looks really nice. It's just a shame that when I went to go try something like to really say, oh, do I like this brand? I ended up trying something that I really <laughs> didn't like. What's the next thing? Number eight was Milk Makeup and <laughs> did I try some? <gasps> Ooh, yes. I tried something from Milk Makeup, but it was not my choosing. I actually got something in a BoxyCharm, I think it was. It? Yeah, it was BoxyCharm. It was a highlighter, like one of those highlighter sticks. And it was really cool. And it was really good quality. And I think it looked really cool, but it wasn't something I went out and purchased from Milk Makeup. It's actually just something that I got in BoxyCharm. So would you consider that me trying? I think that, that would be considered me trying the brand, you know? But honestly, I just, I, I didn't buy anything from the brand, but there was something that I really wanted to try and I should have, I mean, I really should have. They came out with a foundation stick and a lot of people really liked it. And honestly, I had already tried so many foundations this year that I was like, I'm not buying that one too. Like that's just ridiculous, Christina. You only have one face. How many foundations do you freaking need? <laughs> you know, and I ended up not getting it. And I kind of regret it, to be honest, because I think it was a probably a pretty good one, a lot of good reviews on it. And it would have given me, you know, I would have tried Milk Makeup, but I did. I mean, I tried the highlighter and the highlighter was really good. So, I mean, I'm really interested in that brand still. So yeah, that was probably a brand that I would continue over to the next year. So now the last, last brand that I said I wanted to try in 2019 was Viseart. And I am so happy to report that this is a brand I did try and I'm super excited. I actually tried their Dark Edit Mini Eyeshadow Palette. It was amazing. I could tell from this palette that this brand has good eyeshadows. Not only was the color selection really, really good and on point, but the palette was so good. It performed awesome. I love the blend on it. And it was just, it was a very, very good palette. So I'm super happy that I did try Viseart and that is a brand that I want to try more from. But yes, I definitely did try that brand and I had been searching for the perfect palette to try and they released a dark edit and I was like, that is like, my speed, I need to get that and I love it. And yeah, so what do you guys think? How did I do? I, I, I didn't do that good, I know, but you know, there was a lot of brands here. Nine is a lot. I don't think I'm gonna say nine for this year. I think this year I'm only, only gonna say like five brands that I wanna try in 2020 because nine brands was a lot to be honest because the brands that you really, really love, they're consistently coming out with things and you're buying those and to try nine new brands in a year is a lot. For me it was. So I think I did okay considering, but I could have done a lot better. <laughs> But either way, guys, let me know down below if you guys tried any new brands in 2019 that you really loved. And if you guys are excited for me to try any specific brands in 2020, list them down below because pretty soon I'm gonna be coming out with a video of five brands that I'm dying to try in 2020. And I wanna see if they're similar to any of the brands you guys want me to try. Don't forget to leave me those comments, give me likes if you like the video and hit the subscribe button if you are new so that you see me again. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.